And to create the collage, we need to start with the creating new file. For this, just click on new file button. Here you can give a name for your collage. Let's give it a name and set up the correct dimensions for your personal goals. For example, if you're going to post this collage in Instagram, let's set up traditional Instagram dimensions. Click on artboards checkbox. Here, be sure to keep resolution 300 and click create collage. So on the screen, you can see our first artboard that we just created by choosing the dimensions. And from the right side, you can see layers panel. If you still don't see it on your screen, just click on the window tab and find here layers. So our first step will be creating a special placeholders for your future photos. For this, let's choose the shape tool and uh, try to imagine what collage we would like to have at the final result. Uh, I would recommend you to start with something simple. For example, it can be three horizontal photos that will be great for sharing some story by using different photos. When you are ready to add a first placeholder for your photo, just click on the artboard and let's choose dimensions for our placeholder. When the shape is created, just click on the move tool to move it on the correct place just from the top of your image. And our first placeholder is ready. Now we need to fill the whole image with such placeholders so be able to add photos in the future. For this, you can just click on the current layer and drag it on the plus icon, which will create a duplicate layer. Or for example, you can click Ctrl C or Command C and Ctrl V or Command V that also create just the same shape or placeholder for our future photo. Let's repeat the same for our last shape. To select the shape and drag it somewhere, just click Ctrl T or Command T on your keyboard and drag it to the bottom. Now let's rename our shape so we had a complete understanding where everything is located. And our next step will be transforming each shape into smart object so we could comfortably use it for our future goals in certain photos. For this, just click with the right mouse button on the layer and choose convert to smart object. Repeat the same action for other shapes. And let's open our first shape, which will be placeholder for our first photo. And let's add our first photo. Just drag and drop the photo inside the shape. Click enter if you like how the photo look like inside the shape, but be sure that it have to cover whole shape without any gaps like we have now. So let's activate the transformation of the photo once again by clicking Command T or Control T and drag it by the borders to place it perfectly and fill whole shape. When you placed your photo and you like how it looks like, you can press File and Save. When document is saved, you can click on the collage window and see that our photo automatically appeared in the first place holder. Now let's close this shape and open second one. So just select the layer and double click on the layer to open it in the new window. Drag your another photo. Don't forget to cover whole shape with the photo. And when you found great location and position for your photo, just click enter and go file and save. Now let's come back to collage and see that our second photo is appeared and let's repeat the same action for search shape. And we already can see how beautiful photos are joined in beautiful story. Your next step will be exporting this final image. For this, just click on File, Export, Export as. Set up here the best quality and click Export. If, for example, you would like to adjust your photo's position inside the shapes, you need to just click on the photo and double click on the layer. It will open you the window with the current photo, drag the photo on the better position or probably remove this photo and add any new photo. But don't forget to click on File, Save, so the change could be applied on our original collage.